Nuclear crisis continues in Japan. More than a month after the initial devastating 9.0 magnitude quake and tsunami caused extensive destruction in the northeast, another major aftershock measuring 6.3 on the Richter scale struck on Tuesday morning, April 12th. The tremor occurred just hours after a magnitude 6.6 aftershock triggered landslides on Monday, claiming at least six lives. The latest quake was centred in Chiba Prefecture, neighbouring the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. A fire that broke out there minutes later was reportedly extinguished as Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, ordered hundreds of workers and engineers at both the Fukushima Daiichi and Daini nuclear plants to evacuate. Earlier in the day, Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, or NISA, had increased the accident rating at the troubled plant to the worst level of seven, the same as that of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. As Japan and TEPCO have come under much criticism for their handling of the nuclear crisis, both plant and government officials issued apologies to members of the global community, as well as to all residents of Fukushima Prefecture, saying that they would strive to provide accurate information more swiftly. Meanwhile, many of those who have had to evacuate from the 20-kilometer radius around the facility face an uncertain future, as none know whether they will ever be able to return to their homes. As the company continued to assess the exact quantities of radiation released, a TEPCO official stated, The radiation leak has not stopped completely, and our concern is that it could eventually exceed Chernobyl. However, Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission has also found that a large amount of the total radiation was released on March 15th and 16th, with quantities that have diminished considerably since then. Prime Minister Naoto Kan said, The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi plant is slowly stabilizing, step by step, and the emission of radioactive substances is on a declining trend. Workers trying to restore the cooling systems at the plant have not been able to make progress over the past few days. To prevent a hydrogen explosion at reactor number one, workers were injecting nitrogen into the containment vessel. However, as its internal pressure has hardly risen, TIPCO said there may be a gas leak there, although radiation levels around the area have not changed. On Tuesday evening, plant personnel began transferring contaminated wastewater that is filling a tunnel outside reactor number two into a secured storage area inside the reactor's turbine building. Meanwhile, Japan's economics minister Kaoru Yosano warned on Tuesday that the damage caused from March 11th's earthquake and tsunami may be even worse than initially projected due to resulting power shortages that are hindering factory production. With direct damages estimated at about 300 billion U.S. dollars, the disaster is the world's most costly, with over 13,200 confirmed fatalities and more than 14,500 people still listed as missing. A sharp rise in these figures is also expected due to so many in coastal communities who remain unaccounted for. Our appreciation, Japanese and international governments, nuclear officials and personnel striving to restore stability in Japan. Our prayers for the safety of the cherished Japanese people and worldwide community as humanity strives for kinder stewardship of the environment and all her inhabitants.